Hello, I'm Jordan Beck, and today for my topic, I will be discussing how to properly save and invest money for college students. I wanted to do my topic over this area specifically because I noticed with myself and my friends, we spend a lot of money, and I also know that the like, stereotypical thing of college, like everyone's broke and everyone eats ramen noodles, but I have come up with all these plans that I personally now use in my own life that really help me save money and, most importantly, invest money, because I realized that's really important and I did not think so a little bit ago. Um, my first main point on how to save money is you obviously have to get a job first. Um, you can either get a part-time job or a full-time job. Part-time jobs, in my opinion, for college students are better because, like, with a part-time job, there's more flexible hours, um, you have more time for your homework, and the work usually isn't as stressful. Uh, full-time, obviously, is it's maybe more like concrete hours, so you can't just, like, call off, like, if you want to go to a party or something. Um, mo most adults work there, so, like, they're going to take it way more seriously, and the work is usually way more harder. So, definitely think about which one you wanted to get first, but I recommend at least getting one. Obviously, a part-time job is more suitable for college students, but if you have to get a full-time job because of money circumstances, then by all means, you just have to do it, and that's just the way it is. Um, for, and also, I say we save at least 20% per week. Um, I feel like that's a good number, because especially for college students, because obviously, like, we're here to have fun, but by the same time, like, we still need to save, just in case something happens. So I'd say save 20% every week. The second thing I think you should do is to create a chart of all of your monthly expenses. And I think you should break it down into three categories. The first category is, like, required payment. So, like, required payment is something for, like, your house, your apartment, food, water. Those are things you have to spend money on every single week. So that, that like, bar is going to be the most important out of any other bar. The second bar is going to be um, items that can be substituted for a cheaper alternative. And by that, I mean, like, let's say you go to the grocery store and you go get Cheerios or something. A box of Cheerios is, like, four bucks. Um, instead of getting, like, the $4 Cheerios, you might as well just get, like, the offering and get it for $2. It's literally the exact same thing, tastes exactly the same, but one's cheaper. So you might as well just go with a cheaper alternative, especially in college. And then the last item is, like, fun items and, like, impulsive spending. This, obviously, for college students, I feel like is the most where we spend our money because we all like to go out, have fun, go to the bars, or whatever, whatever. But I feel like we need to carefully watch this one, and we need to set a limit on how much we spend for this one each week. Um, there are apps available, uh, such as Mint, Mobile's Budget, and Fudget, that can help you lay out these charts and stuff. I use all three, and I recommend them because they're pretty, pretty good. Um, yeah, and like they're really easy to use, and then if you don't know how to use them, they'll give you like a walkthrough tutorial on it, how to operate them. Um, the second, I mean, the, the third point on how to save money is school-related expenses. This category, I feel like, is also very important because I feel like people could save way more money, but they just don't, like, they don't know properly how to do it. So I'm going to explain what you should do. The first thing you should always split, especially with your roommates, is food. Obviously not all food because people eat different things, but like let's say like condiments like ranch or some or like ranch ketchup or anything like that. Those should be split between everybody and I recommend splitting them when you first go to the grocery store and not wait until later because I feel like the the person who usually ends up buying it gets stuck with it and then like everyone else just use it anyway. So that person's just losing money. And you might as well split with everybody if they're gonna use it. The second thing you should split between people is book supplies for school, especially college. They're, the, some of the books are crazy, like $200, and I just don't, like, that's just ridiculous. So if you don't need to buy the book, don't buy it. I, for my personal recommendation, what you should do is don't buy any books up until you un, up until your teacher assigns them. Because I know for fact, like, all my classes, except, like, three, we don't actually use the book. They just tell them, like, they just tell us to get it for, like, if we need to go reference something. But if you don't need to get it, then don't get it at all. The other thing is school supplies, so such as like a calculator. This is also really important. If you're like a math major, if you don't, like there's no need for like three people to have the same calculator like, if they're not in the same class because like you might as well just pay, like split the difference with the person who has it. And then you guys both can have it. And then obviously after that class, you're probably not going to use it again. So that's uh, super another super easy way to save money. And the last thing is cleaning supplies. This thing is also important too for like your house. 
because I know for a fact, like in my house personally, I always end up buying all the cleaning supplies and it's just annoying. So, and I know for a fact, all my roommates want to clean house anyway, so they might as well just split the cost with me and then so we all have a clean house and I'm not getting stuck paying for all of it. Um, another thing that you can save money on is the is by not getting a meal plan on campus. This, in my opinion, is the biggest scam out of all state. No one needs eight dollars and fifty cents for every single meal. I only spend eight dollars fifty cents when I go out to like a restaurant or if I go to like a fast food place and I'm like super hungry. But in reality, most people don't even spend eight fifty, and there's no need you need to spend eight fifty every day because if you don't spend that money, you lose it. So you might as well not get the meal plan. It's the biggest scam, in my opinion. Um, another thing you should do is set goals and limits for yourself. Me especially, or other people being 21, I personally now only bring cash to the bars because I realize when I bring my credit card, I just get spent happy after a few drinks and it's just never ever good for my bank account or myself. So, goal, always bring cash to the bars. It'll make your life way much easier. Now the next section of the video, I'm gonna do investing. The first way you should invest is by getting a Robinhood account. This app in my opinion is the best app to invest in because it gives you free tutorials you get free stocks when you sign up and it's super easy to track your money and it only takes three business days to withdraw from your Robinhood account to your bank account um, another reason why I like this because <coughs> you can also trade cryptocurrency too if you know what that is it's really easy and I don't really know any other apps that offer it but if they do they charge so again Robinhood all stocks and stuff and cryptocurrencies they're all free Another thing you can make money to like reinvest your money is by reselling stuff. If you have a little bit extra money in the bank, best things to resell are like shoes, designer clothing. These things, especially what I realize, go for crazy amounts. In college, you don't need to have the latest Gucci Bell or whatever, whatever. But the thing is though, these things come out for retail value. So let's say like a Gucci belt's like 150 retail, but but the Gucci will sell out of it in like five minutes and the resale value will literally go up to like $300. So if you can be one of those first people to log in at that time, you can literally make a substantial profit. I'm on like my sixth pair of flip shoes. I made like a thousand dollars already. And super easy way to invest money. Again, always make, when your money's in the bank, you might as well make more money on top of it instead of just like letting it sit there. Because if it just sits there, you're not getting any interest on it. So you might as well create more money from your money that's just like, sitting there um another way you can make money is buy like online sports books i know for especially for uh, men if you like sports especially in indiana we're one out of the 11 states that actually offer sports books so if you think you know what you're doing you can always go place a bet on some sports for like lines who's gonna win um win totals they literally have like season at like who like who's gonna finish in like the top seeds they literally have everything. And the last thing I think you should do is invest in yourself. This is also very important to me because I was doing money and stuff, but like yourself obviously is the most important thing that needs to be worked on. Uh, I have some few tips. The first tip I advise is getting up early. I really started, I recently started to do this because I used to just sleep in until noon. Then my whole day would just feel weird. But if you get up early, you can have so much more time in your day. You can get so much more things done and you're not as stressed with homework. Because if you just wake up like at nine, Instead of 12, like I used to do, I have some, not another three hours extra of homework to do. Another thing you should do is exercise. Even though, even if it's just like a little quick walk, it's always best to get outside. And I always, and I, what I did realize, it helps me the best when I'm like stressed with homework and I just don't know what I'm doing. If I just go for a walk or a run, it literally eases my mind and I can focus way more easy. Um, another thing to do <clears throat> is to maintain health relationships and get rid of bad ones especially in college i know a lot of people who are in terrible not even like romantic relationships but it's like bad friendships they just need to gotta leave them because they're not going they're not going anywhere they're just getting dragged back so make sure you prioritize who you want to be friends with and if someone in your life isn't that person then you just gotta get rid of them because they're only gonna hold you back another thing you should do to invest in yourself is to read more this is how you gain more intelligence um you learn more things about life, you get smarter, um, and it's just way better for you. If you look at like, all like the top like millionaires, they say the most important thing to do to get rich is read. And my last thing is to get off your phone. Everybody is on their phone nowadays, especially when you walk on campus, you see <clears throat> people, like a deer in headlights, they have no clue where they're going, they walk straight into you and look on their phone, it just gets annoying. So get off your phone, we're all zombies to it. I promise you your life will be way better 
if you're not looking at your phone every single second. Thank you.